Yes, my friend, this is Minister Hill once again, and talking about going to church does not make you a righteous person. No, it does not. Amen. But the thing is, you got to be born again. You you cannot rely on that family tradition because your mother's mother and your father's father, your grandfather went to church, and that's why you're going because you came up in the church. A lot of people came up in the church, but they have not yet experienced the new birth and being born again. A lot of people that have been baptized, but that don't mean that you've been born again. Huh? A lot of people in church and they're holding a lot of positions, but that does not mean that you have been born again. So, church attendance, like I said, does not give you the new birth. As Nicodemus was told, you must be born again. Must be. And as I was saying, some people said, well, I used to be saved. I used to be Christian. A Christian, what can I do? Well, you have to be born again. Yep, it's important that we are born again and experience the new birth. And, uh, we assemble ourselves together with other believers and we don't put our eyes on people. We go and we look up unto the hills from whence cometh our help. Our help cometh from the Lord, not from people. God is our source. Amen. And I was saying before I left left off that the church uh must have what you call an altar. An altar is a place where you come down and you are looking for a change. That's where you want to be converted at the altar. Putting out two chairs and you sitting in one of the chairs, uh, sitting on a morning a mourner's bench, does not change your life. That just gives you membership of a church but you have to be my friend born again amen <laughs> so you have to go up to the altar and give your heart unto the Lord and sometimes my friend you don't really have to go to the walls of the church to be born again you can seek God at home you can get in your secret closet in the basement away from people and God will save you and change your life right at home because God looks on the heart and he will change your heart even at home. If you seek him diligent, diligently, he will change you. Yes, he will. So you don't necessarily have to go to church to that building to be born again. Yep. So, like I was saying before, sitting in a chair and signing up for membership does not change one's wicked ways. No. Going into a confession booth and telling the priest all your personal business and he just molested a boy or something like that and you telling him all your personal business, that's not the answer either. You know, uh, the answer is that you better be watching your son around that Catholic church. That's the answer. Um, but we're not going to get into that. But I was led to get into that, but I'm not going to get into that. Keep an eye on your children, especially your boys and your little girls. You know, I knew that as a sinner, mistreating women, smoking reefer, cussing, and full of deceit that I was hell bound. Now I knew I knew that. So I stayed away from the church. I didn't go to the church and perform as a hypocrite. I knew I wasn't right. So I stayed away from the church because I wasn't right. 
and I wasn't ready to live right. So I gave reverence to God and to his house. Most of the times what a pastor is, that is what he will draw. Mm -hmm. Like sheep, like pastor. If he's full of sin, then he will have a congregation of unrighteousness. He will have a unrighteous congregation, even though he preach from the Holy Bible. It's not what you preach, it's what you live. Yeah. If he's a righteous pastor, then you as a member will become righteous under his leadership. Or you will go seeking your kind. People oftentimes uh, they find their kind on Sundays by the sign that's outside of the church. The sign in front of the church. They seek their kind by that sign. If you are a sinner and on Sunday if you're looking for a church and you're a sinner and you're not ready to give your heart to God the one sign you would not the one sign you would surely avoid is Pentecost Church of God in Christ. You're not going in there. I guarantee you, you're going to drive right past that sign. No. You will be more suitable in Little Rock Baptist Church. Yeah, you're looking for your kind. Mm -hmm. So church going does not make you righteous. It does not make you a righteous person. The devil himself believes and tremble. Did y'all know that? So you cannot let uh, your church going be in vain because your name is on the road. No, you can't do that. But you got to have a personal relationship with God and you got to be ready to live right. Not saying that you're going to be perfect, but at least that you have gave your heart to God and God um, he acknowledged that and he will uh, change your life and I'm a, a witness of that God will change your life and I just like to say God can do anything God can do anything God can do anything but fail he can say he can heal only let him and he will God can do